Number two, repeat exercise 22.1 for a negative charge now. All right, so please take a look at number one. I went through a very detailed analysis of how to think through this. I'm going to make one adjustment here, and then we're going to run through this problem, okay? So please review number one for a full analysis. Um, here's right-hand rule number one. Now, the right-hand rule number one here is for a positive charge. How do we know that? Well, simple. Anytime the force vector is pointing out of the palm like it is here in the picture, that's for a positive charge. For a negative charge now, you basically have to kind of erase this, okay? Pretend it's not even there. And what now, the, the direction of the force on a negative charge will be pointing from the back of the palm. All right, now it's hard to draw on this screen, okay? But it's pointing literally from the back of your palm or the back of your hand now, okay? So it's exactly opposite to what we've done in example number one as far as the direction of the force. It is 180 degrees opposed to the force vector as we have performed in question number one. Everything else, though, the velocity and the magnetic field is not changing. It's just now the direction of that force vector. Okay, so let's run through it. Fix your hand rigidly in this position. Okay, make sure you maintain a 90 degree angle between your four fingers and your thumb. Now let's work with the velocity first. So take your thumb and point it directly down. Then take your four fingers now and the magnetic field, it says is pointing towards you. And remember your four fingers represent the magnetic field. So with your thumb pointing down, take your four fingers and try to poke yourself in the eye. Don't do it actually, but try to do it, okay? Be unsuccessful at that, that's okay to be unsuccessful at that. Now, what you need to now realize is with your thumb pointing down and your fingers now, your four fingers now pointing towards you, it should feel a little awkward, your hands position. And if that's the case, you're probably doing this right. As we answered in the last question, we said that the force vector now would be pointing out of the palm and it would have been pointing to the left. But now since it is a negative charge, it's going to be now pointing to the right. So if you notice with your hand in this position, thumb down, fingers pointing into your eye, where's the back of your palm facing or the back of your hand facing? The back of your hand should now be facing to the right, okay? And that's now why the answer is to the right, all right? So you just got to remember this about a negative charge. It's the same exact thing as we've done in, uh, as we have performed in number one. It's just that now the force vector isn't out of the palm. It's out of the back of the hand. Okay? So same thing. Let's look at letter B. Point your thumb directly up. Then take your four fingers. Remember, you got to be rigid in this. Rigid. Like you're shaking someone's hand. Don't, you know, keep your hand in that position. Now you just got to move it all around. Okay? Don't move your fingers. You know what I'm saying? You got to move your whole hand to direct your fingers. So take your thumb now, point it up, then take your four fingers now, okay, and rotate your hand so that your four fingers are now uh, pointing to the right. And now the direction of your palm, excuse me, the direction of the back of your hand should now be pointing out of the page, okay? So there's going to be little dots here now. The palm should be facing your face. So remember the little dots represent coming out of the page. If you need a review, that's what we talked about in number one. So please see that video. So this is now out of page. Okay. Little, little X's here represented into the page. So now what we need to do, take the thumb, point it to the right. Take your four fingers and point them into the page. Actually, this, this now letter C should look exactly like this picture kind of where you're almost asking, you know, kind of like, hey, can I have some more, please? Or, you know, asking for money, whatever the case is. I don't, it doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, it's like uh, you're asking for something. So uh, with the thumb pointing to the right and your four fingers then pointing into the computer screen now, uh, where's the direction of the back of your hand? It should be pointing now down, right? Down. So that's the direction of the force, down. Letter D. We talked about this in number one. There's no force. None. Okay? 180 degrees. You'll understand why when you look at number one. So for letter E now, take your thumb, point it into the computer screen. Okay, point it into the computer screen. Then take your four fingers and make sure they're pointing up. Okay. Now, what's the direction then of the back of your palm? The back of your palm should now be to the left. Okay, left. And then last but not least, letter B, take your thumb now. This says out of the page, so take your thumb, try to poke yourself in the eye with it, but don't actually do it. All right, now point your four fingers then to the left. It almost should be, it almost should look like, you know, if you're trying to 
like see far in a sunny day. You know, you got your hand over your head trying to block the sun. That's what it sh- kind of should look like. So if you got that uh, going for you, um, then the back of your hand is pointing up. Okay, the back of your hand is directed up. So that would then be the direction of the of the force. All right. And that takes care of that. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out if it did. And uh, you know what to do. Take care.